everyone, my name is Sin Murray and this is Orcs and Moths Die by Robot Entertainment. This game is about 10 years old, maybe a little bit more. And it's really, it was really created, I think, during the height of the tower defense sort of genre. Back when uh, those were super popular on previous games. Now, let's go ahead and create our profile. So let's create a new profile. We're going to name it Ben Muir. And let's go ahead and accept that. So we are Fenway. Let's go ahead and jump on in. I'm going to have zero upgrades. If the game is too hard, you can go to Apprentice. So we're not going to do that because the game is um, not too hard. But let's go ahead and jump on into the hallway. I've spent 300 years fighting for the Order. I've killed thousands of orcs and defended dozens of rifts. And this is how it ends. One slip and a kobold's blood, and my skull cracks open on the gatehouse steps. So now the task of defending this fortress falls to my... <clears throat> apprentice. That's it, then. The world is doomed. <laughs> He has so much faith in us. To me now. Rest well, crazy old man. First things first. Let's see what he left me in this spell book. So, this is the best weapon in the game, the crossbow. You can headshot most enemies with it and they'll kill them instantly. Well, let's go ahead and look into the spell book. And, well, we have a lot of traps here. I'm going to be using the blade staff, the tar trap. And the Vampiric Gauntlets. Now, this tells us what enemies are going to show up in the level. We have an Orc Warrior, Single-Minded Brute, who heads for the Rift. Yeah, let's just talk about this mouse sensitivity here, because holy crap. Alright, let's, um, let's go to Controls. No. Let's go to Settings. And, uh, that's at 50%. This is at, this is, this is at, um, well, minimum percent. I'm going to just move my mouse across my mouse pad. There you go! <laughs> it's how sensitive the mouse is in this game. You'll get used to it if you play it. But, we're going to use tar traps. Tar traps are extremely useful in... Tar traps are useful in that they slow the enemy down, as you would expect tar to do. It makes it easier for your... for your champion, the war mage. And uh, these guys called cha called guardians to take down the enemy. So let's go ahead and jump in and kill them. Now we're going to be using the uh, we're going to be using a strategy with that of just trying to disable them and then kill them. The dialogue of the orc is the orcs is really what kind of makes this game. <laughs> oh, the orcs are funny in this game. Oh, come on, you stepped on my foot. All right, so there's also something known as combos, and that is when multiple traps deal damage to a single enemy in a short succession and kill that enemy. <laughs> Alright, we can't take another hit, so let's just headshot these guys. And we can run back to the crystal to heal. We can also use our vampire gauntlets. Those will allow us This allows us to to steal help from the enemy, and they just do a ton of damage as well. Give you an idea. All right, we are at full health. Let's go ahead and keep killing them. All 
All right, so it's a way to regen your health when, or to quickly get your mana back. The right-click version on it uh, transfers your health, turns your health into mana. All right, well, let's go ahead and keep putting down tar trips, tar pits. It's not good, we stunned the guys in the back, we didn't want to do that. But, we don't have enough to stun again, so... Alright, I think it's time to just headshot some people. Nice. And now let's steal some health from them. And let's just kill them all quickly. The difference between the War Mage and the enemies is incredibly great. Alright. So we can take them down. And if he does that animation, that means you got five skulls. So. That works. Alright, so how the game works is whenever you complete a mission, you can upgrade your items at the end of that screen. We only have five skulls, so we cannot upgrade our tar pits yet. Now we have the arrow wall. The wall. Yeah, the arrow wall. Really useful. We're going to employ that to help us kill off the enemy very quickly. We're also then going. We're also going to use the Alchemist Satchel, and uh, probably the Mana Well as well. Aha! The old man dead and my apprenticeship finally over. I can draw on the full power of the Rift. I'll get right a new there, toy to play spot. with every time I defend a Rift. Voila! All right, let's do this. Now you can put down Alchemists, traps, beforehand. I think you can have three of them out. If we can, we want to stun the enemy. So they all bunch up near the alchemist traps. Because we can just keep them chain stunned with the power of the rift backing us up. We're going to want to get as many of the enemy there as possible. We can. We want them all bunched up. And let's just detonate them. <laughs> Alright, we don't have a lot of sword. Alright, so let's go ahead and regen our power. There's a safer way we can do that, which I think we will do... Instead, like this one. <laughs> yeah, they like this one. All right, so let's go ahead and try to keep them stunned to have them all bunch up if we can. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of mana. Right now, because we put down our traps. Let's try our best to get as many of them in that little corridor as we can. Because that means that when we activate our alchemist traps... <laughs> wow. Good level. I love it. <laughs> Alright, come on now. Let's go get some mana back. Hopefully we can get enough. We can hold them at bay. Alright, let's start chain stunning them.
If we're lucky, they will all bunch up. And we will be able to kill them all at once. Now they're going to start gaining some ground, since we can't keep them all stunned forever. And eventually that Guardian will aggro and go after them. That could prove problematic for us, but hey, it's time for us to... <laughs> to, uh, you know, unleash the traps. Alright, so that was, uh, holy crap. <laughs> Alright, I need you to I need you to move. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put more tar traps down. Not really. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some more mana back. <clears throat> And we are slowing them down earlier, so that definitely works for us. We can let them gain a little bit of ground so that we can keep them at bay for longer, I suppose. So more of them actually get into the corridor. And I think that's all the enemies in the, in the level, so let's go ahead and let them gain some ground. And... <laughs> and just kill them. <laughs> <laughs> it's so powerful. <laughs> Alright, very nice. So we have 10 skulls now, so let's go ahead and upgrade this tar pit so it slows them down even more. And let's continue on. Alright, so boom barrels. They're basically just boxes of bomb, barrels of bombs that explode when they take damage. Similar to the alchemist's um, bit causes them to explode. Now, you can do rather silly things with them, uh, which are just kind of funny. I'll try to demonstrate here. Another day, another fortress, another rift to defend. So, here's the thing about... To break through the doors. We should do something about that. So part of how boom barrels work is if they are within, they're close enough to each other, they will chain each other. The other thing is, enemies can set them off as well. If an enemy's attack hits the barrel, it will, it will set the barrel off. A treat for you. <laughs> a treat for you. This is probably overkill at this point, but, um, yeah, you can do stuff like this and it's ridiculous. So, let's go ahead and, um, yeah, try to keep them nice and stunned so most of them get over there. I don't think that was worth it, though. But that was pretty funny. No right. The last thing you'll ever see. Voila! So those are the quote crossbow men. They shoot crossbows. Go figure, right? Oh. Once you sort of figure out where their heads are, you can just shoot them.
All right, so let's place down some more of these. Over here we have the acid trap, the environmental traps, like chandeliers and such. <laughs> That's so easy. Down guess. So it wasn't really worth it to us to put those bombs like that. Not in this case. But still, it's pretty funny. Alright, let's go ahead and put down three of these. The only problem with them is they're kind of hard to control and they're kind of just gonna go wherever they want. But. You can do that. Right this way, Mr. Orc. Yes, Mr. Orr. Get right this way. And I think it's about... No, 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 we can wait a little bit longer. And, uh, well... Oh. Not enough. Not as many as I'd like. Yes. So the main thing is to kill as many of them as possible, or to get as many headshots as possible. I believe headshots give you additional score, which you don't need. I'm guessing if you hit them with the Alchemist Flask, it explodes. So let's go heal ourselves a little bit. We can put down more of these boom barrels if we wish. Or the other, other white. Oh, these jerks. Let's keep them at bay. And let's I just start wiping them out. Overkill. <laughs> so 
So I think ouchies was something that people used to say back in the 90s, I think it was. Oh, just machine gun him. Alright, so we didn't get five skulls. Unfortunate. So, what that means is this. Let's go get five skulls. So there's the more effective way of doing that, which it looks like this. Another day, another fortress, another rift. To Alright, so these are normally they meant to kill to the liars. Do something about that. A treat for you. But what this means is as soon as the enemies come here, they'll start taking lots and lots of damage. We just want to get as many headshots as we can. <laughs> Since it does take a hot second for those lightning traps to recharge. Go ahead and put down more of the lightning traps. <laughs> and let's just keep going. Yeah, so it works. They're shooting back. Good question. Okay. But then eventually, after all the damage is through here. Go ahead and start trying to bunch them up. And now let's go here. Is that a lever? Clearly one of the most important questions. I suppose I'm aware the enemies can't hurt each other. I think if they explode, they can hurt each other. Thank you, Trap. <laughs> oh yeah, we can do this. Alright, so let's put down more of those tower traps. <laughs> that works and blend, yeah. Will it blend? Orcs. Oh man, that's uh that's a really old reference of who let blend. Just for you.
Watch out, there's tracks. No. No. <laughs> Good job, guys. Nice. And there we go. Got that last skill. Let's continue. We have the wind build now. Not much room to work with here. Hmm. Short walk for the orcs from the gate to the rift. Just, those acid pits will come in handy. Yeah. So give us the wind build, which is going to be amazing for us. We're gonna go with the uh, with the mana well as well. And uh, I suppose the zapper. Alright, so, mana wells, what are they? Well, places, they're places where you can get mana. A lot of mana. Now we're going to want the enemy to, we're going to want the enemy to stay over here, if possible. We have these, um, acid traps. We want to spawn camp them. And, uh, well... <laughs> the orbs just make me think of, um, that boss in Magicka. Where he's like, oh, blood loss, my one weakness! <laughs> Yeah, watch out, there are traps. <laughs> Alright. Some new decorations. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're just decorations, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm allergic to blades. Classic. Alright, so we need to go heal ourselves real quick. And then quickly kill the enemy. It'll be faster to do it. You can headshot them, that'll be really fast. But let's go ahead and vampire them down. Alright, who's next?
Alright, let's go heal real quick before we die. Remember guys, they're allergic to blades. <laughs> My life is agony! Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Get our mana back as quickly as we can. And let's go exterminate some more orcs, shall we? <laughs> the right click for the wind belt is you just pick them up. <laughs> you just throw them in the uh, throw them in the ass and watch them die. I guess it's pretty morbid, actually. You put it that way. And I think that might be all of them. Let's go ahead and get filled up. Oh, that's not all of them. I'm gonna wish it was all of them, though. That'll be a wrap. Ah, uh, none of them got in. All right, let's go ahead and do it again then. Hmm, not 
Okay, so how I do this other one is this, that, this, that. We don't have guardians technically yet. And then probably the blade staff. Alright, so how does this look? Well, yeah. there we go. <laughs> Our old mainstays. Okay, we don't want to take more damage because if we do, we'll die. So let's go ahead and heal real quick. Let our lightning traps do their thing. Let's just get more lighting traps until we have that top bit filled and can do magic tons of damage to the enemy. And then we'll see from there. Hit again. Let's go here. And we can put another lightning trap up, so let's do that. <laughs> All my life is agony. Oh. <laughs> it's great. You're probably asking yourself, when are the other traps going to be used? Well, in due time. There are some enemies that take extra damage from the blade staff. The an enemy that we will see mm, somewhat soon is an example. Okay, see these are all done. So we want to get our offense going as much as possible. Just slowing the enemy is fine, but we want to kill them. Alright, let's go heal while those hold them at bay. And then let's get back and see what madness we can get into. Alright, so we're able to pretty much hold them at bay here. They haven't gotten anywhere near the rift, that's good. And those are all done now. Let's go ahead and throw our tar pits up.
<laughs> Deja vu, there it goes again. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I do like how the orcs are just supposed to be as dumb as possible. <laughs> We have deja vu about having deja vu about having deja vu. Let's go. Da da da. <laughs> it's a trip. No, no, we wouldn't do that. No. <laughs> There we go. So let's go ahead and continue. Now we officially get the Guardian Archer. Is it just me or do these attacks seem more organized these days? Works for me. I like it when all the enemies bunch up for mass slaughtering. Alright, so I actually really like archers. Um, I like the... I like guardians. They are fantastic. How do we, how do we get up there? Right over here. So, what I like to do in this level is you can rotate archers. So I'm going to put them up here. And they're special. Is that it costs less money to use them. So we're putting them there because we're going to make a big kill box right here. <laughs> Dog size vermin with a two week breeding cycle. Yeesh. When it goes back to green, it pretty much has perfect accuracy. <laughs> so archers aren't even doing anything yet, which is fine. But they will be doing quite a bit in the near future. Alright, so it's just the other side again. Works for me. Die. All right, time to go heal ourselves and use our uh, machine gun effectively. I think the best part is how the war mage just absolutely loves his job. <laughs> That's the best part of this game. <laughs> He's like, yeah! Hmm, don't think he'll be able to kill much there. So let's go ahead and set this up. Are they okay, builds? Goodbye, okay, builds. No! 
We done screwed up. You done goofed. Why are we here? No, we can't get rid of it. Wait, can we? We can. Yeah. Let's be OCD with it, shall we? All right. So. <laughs> Man, the life of a kobold that has one hit point. <laughs> Poor kobolds. Here to we max out the number of archers I can fit. No. Let's max out those archers, shall we? And this is the last way. ourselves a little bit and let's help wipe them out shall we go now can buy upgrades so let's go ahead and upgrade our archers it makes them slightly cheaper so that's always good let's continue on so we have barricades barricades are super useful another attack where our defenses are thin if I didn't know better I think the orcs were learning okay these are literally all we need but uh, I suppose we can go with a mana well Eh, hey, we can go with bombs, I guess. And... Maybe shock zappers. I don't think we'll actually get to use the shock zappers all that much, but uh, whatever. It'll work out. So this map. You have this nice big open area here. Oh no, what am I doing? We're actually going to do something ever so slightly different. We're going to use the wind belt. Yeah. First thing we're going to do is we're going to block this off. This just doesn't seem fair. <laughs> All right, so you see this little light that'll go over there, then it'll turn around and go this way. That's good. That's what we want. Now, our archers only cost 500 now, so that's good for us. Let's put our archers up top where they cannot be targeted by the enemy. Now, we can use the chandelier to kill the enemy. Which can work really well. Yes, watch for try. Watch for tries. Also, watch out for acid pits. Oh, 
Okay. So, let's go ahead and get our mana back. And those are moving pretty fast, so those are going to be kobolds. They can't run over the barriers. Looks like those kobolds are all trying to go to the top way. Alright, well, that works. Let's add some more. Let's add more archers. Here, okay, okay, okay. And there's some kobolds mixed in. Nice. Very nice. Let's go max out our archers some more. And we're going to keep using this strategy to keep throwing them down into pits. Or they will die probably a horrible death. No, don't worry about that. And there they come flooding in. I do that to myself. <laughs> thought I, had the I thought I had the crossbow out. <laughs> Alright, let's go with the vampire gauntlets. So that uh, we can help ourselves out a little bit. Another attack where our defenses are thin? If I didn't know better, I think the orcs were learning. Alright, that works. We can actually, uh, Let's push this up a little bit. And we can't throw him up there just yet without running up there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put this guy up here. Can I get my parking validated? Nice. Yes. Alright, so we can place down two more of those traps. Two more guardians. We can also put down some of those. Which makes dealing with kobolds very easy. Get out of here. This first line will be uh, really nice for us. First line of tar to slow the enemy down so the archers can shoot them. Though he's not exactly firing. He might be in a position where he can't fire. Be uh, problematic, I guess. Yeah, I think the I think the guardian might be somewhere where he can't actually shoot down at the moment.
die. So that just happened. Yes. Let's go move that archer. I think he may need to be placed somewhere slightly different. Pushed further ahead or so. But. Alternatively, we can just do this. That should work just fine. As long as we're here protecting them. And yes, we can stand in fire and be perfectly fine. That's what they're supposed to be doing. We're just gonna stand over here and... And now we make this even worse for the orcs. By just putting two pits down. And this is where... Yeah, with the... Crossbow works. They, those can be a bit of a problem for our archers. These things to reference, all these references to things that most of you won't get. <laughs> nice. So the nice part, of, part about the TARs is that it allows us to really group them together. <laughs> oh no, there goes this Kibbles. No! Damn it! Okay, well I have a slightly different strategy then. So we're still gonna go with these. And... Um, that. And we can go with this. Another attack where our defenses are that should help us ever so slightly. So let's put these down. This'll hurt. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing if you'd like to see more. I really want to know what you'd like to see more of, so just let me know in the comments below. Thanks, and see you next time. Bye.